Good morning. You have tuned in to a short devotional time sponsored by the Moncton First the Church of the Nazarene. My name is Bill Stewart and for a few weeks I would like you to join me in a journey, a journey that will take us back to some of the very basic things that are necessary if we are going to live an effective Christian life and have fellowship with God. It's not really a Bible study. You will be joining me in my own personal journey as I learned and experienced the things that were necessary for my Christian development. Without them, any attempt to live the Christian life effectively will be severely handicapped. I learned these things very early on in my Christian experience. And I did not really become a Christian until I was in my teenage years, going to high school, and it was back in Scotland. I attended church. My mother and father were Christians and they made the family every Sunday go to church. Throughout my boyhood years, I agreed to this and accepted this. It was what the family did. But as I developed into my teenage years, I began to have some questions and some tensions began to arise between me and the church. I was beginning to develop my own decisions. I wanted to live my own life. I was formulating my own priorities and looking to life in a different direction altogether to what the church was advocating. And as the years went by and I grew into teenage years, this tension between my way and the way the church was advocating became very tense. But it all changed one evening in March, many years ago. I was at church and I was struggling with the, with the tension. And I thought, I do not want to be here. This is not my place. These are not my people. My life is going to go in a different direction. The direction that I had in mind wasn't really bad. It just that it was a direction God was not included. God was noticeable by his absence. Whereas the church was advocating that we all make room for God in our lives and we commit ourselves to following Jesus Christ. That I did not want to do. So that evening in church, I was struggling and I made the decision when I leave church tonight, I'm not going to come back. I know it will create problems at home and with my mother and father, but I was determined. So when the service was over, I stood up and walked out. Just as I was walking out, however, the man who was the usher that night, a man who I happened to respect, I was there and he put his hand out to shake my hand. Normal procedure, so I shook his hand. But he held on. He didn't let me go. And he looked at me and he said, Billy, I would like to talk to you. Well, I knew enough about these church folks that I knew what he wanted to talk about. But I was in struggle, and so I said, yes. So he took me to a room at the back of the church, talked to me, and that night led me to commit my life to Jesus Christ. And that night, everything changed. And that night, my way of life changed. From the beginning, <clears throat> I realized I had a lot to learn. 
So I said to the people in the church that were helping me, I said, okay, I've made my decision to follow Jesus Christ. What do I do now? And they were quite clear. They said there are four basic things that are essential if you're going to grow and develop as a Christian. You can look upon yourself, if you like, as a, as a baby in Christ. You've just been born again. You're like a spiritual infant. And we know that babies, if they're going to grow into meaningful adulthood, have some very important lessons to learn. A baby has to learn to walk. If he doesn't learn that, then when he becomes an adult, then his life is significantly curtailed. A baby has to learn to talk. If he doesn't learn to talk, then as an adult, he will have some very difficult times developing a good life. So as a babe in Christ, I had some very fundamental lessons to learn. And they said, there are four things that you must learn to practice if you're going to develop your Christian life. The four things, the first one was you need to learn to pray. In prayer, we communicate with God, we talk to Him, He talks to you. You need to learn to pray. Well, I had never prayed in my life that I can remember personally to God and I realized I don't even know where to start. I have a lot to learn. The second fundamental they said is you need to learn to read God's Word, the Bible. Well, the Bible was a closed book to me. I'd never read it. I remember as a boy, I got a gift of a Bible from my mother and it had pictures in it. And I can remember thumbing my way through the Bible, looking at the pictures. And then when I'd seen the pictures, I closed it, put it on a shelf somewhere. And I don't know what's happened to that Bible, but I never read it. I thought, read the Bible. I've got a lot to learn. The third fundamental, basic fundamental they said, was you need to commit yourself to a Christian fellowship, to a church, where there are people who have the same faith, who are worshiping the same God, and they'll teach and direct and help and encourage you. You need to commit yourself to the church. And I thought the church, I'd been scheming for two years how I could leave it and never come back. It was not my place. They were not my people. Their way of life was not my way of life. And now I had to commit myself to the church. I had a lot to learn. The fourth basic fundamental, they said, was you need to witness that you are a Christian. And I thought, oh no, I was going to high school. And I thought, if I go to school and tell these guys that I'm now a Christian, they will laugh me to scorn. I had a lot to learn. But these were the four basics. And we'll talk about them in the weeks to come. Prayer reading the Bible, committing yourself to the church, and witnessing for Jesus Christ. Four basic essentials that we need to practice as Christians and develop skill in doing them. And uh, they were essential to me. They are essential to you. You cannot practice good fellowship with God and obey him and follow Jesus without developing some skill in these four areas.
So we will talk about it in the weeks ahead. Next week, we will talk about the first, prayer. And I'd like you to join me then. These are classes, but unfortunately, we cannot react and respond to one another. But I would welcome any questions or comments that you have. Uh, if you do wish to contact me, you can do so by email. The email number is on your sheet handout, so please feel free to do it. In the meantime, God bless, and remember the four basics. Prayer, reading the Bible, committing to the church, and witnessing. Do these, and you will grow in your Christian experience. Thank you. God bless.